here, Cancerians. Welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. We're going to be doing a general reading. I'm trying to see if I want to use this deck or traditional. Um, this is going to be general, this reading, so please keep that in mind when watching. The roles can be reversed if you're a cross-watcher. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, I'm seeing justice for you guys. I feel like for some of you, there's been a lack of closure. I feel like you've been waiting for some sort of justice or some sort of closure for quite some time. But I, I was seeing justice. I was seeing the scales being balanced. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Like, let's see what's going on with you guys, though. All right, yes, you. There has been some some hardships for you guys. Some of you may have been rejected. Some of you, you know, people may have left you out in the cold. I feel like some of you may have even even been the black sheep of the family, right? But I see, I see the wheel of fortune. I told you, justice is coming for you guys. There's a major change. It's like you're going from this adversity. Uh, maybe even homeless, right? It's like you're going from whatever hardships that you've been facing to a really big, powerful change with this Wheel of Fortune. That's a good way to start your reading out because that's what I was feeling. I felt like there was adversity or there was some sort of injustice that happened to you guys, but there's like a big change on the way. A fortunate change. We got the Empress coming through. You and you know what's gonna what's going to um spark this change is no longer being committed. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, no longer being committed and dedicated to people that have caused these hardships and problems in your life. Knowing your worth, the Empress, she knows her worth. I feel like no longer being committed to unconditionally giving to people or unconditionally having people in your life you can love people from a distance and just because you love someone it doesn't mean that you're required to, to deal with that person or deal with these people in your life I feel like some of you were committed to helping people right but when it came time for you know your adversity or for you to need help people left you out in the cold you've had to struggle and i feel like some of you are like i'm no longer doing that anymore it's going to be about me it's going to be about loving myself and taking care of myself but this is in a healthy way the empress is doing it in a healthy way she's not going to turn a blind eye on someone that needs help but she's also not going to be a fool and allow herself to be taken advantage of what's challenging you guys Ace of Cups, that, that, oh wow, the Ace of Cups is coming through as the challenge. I like to read that as one of two ways. This card can, because it's not the two cups, so it's not giving me two people vibes. This is giving me like self-love vibes and or wanting new love vibes with that Ace of Cups coming through. That's the challenge. So I feel like obviously we see where you are now. No longer giving to people. And some of you could have been doing that and not practicing self-love. But the Empress loves herself, just like I was saying. So it seems like you guys are aware of the challenges in your life. Yep, because see the moon card is in reverse. I feel like there's been some sort of epiphany. It's like the veil is being lifted, right? I feel like it's this energy of the Empress always seeing the good in people. And, you know, wanting to be this nurturer and wanting to help the broken, right? Because I feel like they come to you. They come to you because they know that they're going to get that nurturing. And they're going to get that love. But I feel like it, you could have been being taken advantage of. And I'm seeing here with the moon in reverse, I feel like you've had this realization. You see the truth of the situation. Um, you see the, these people's truth and you didn't like it. I feel like you didn't like it. And I feel like you guys didn't like it because you saw that these people were not giving you that love in return. You were giving your cup, but it's like, where, where, where's your cup? It's only one cup. And remember I said there's two cups? Well, it's just one cup. You were always filling other people's cup, other people's cup. They were not filling yours. And that's where the challenge is. I feel like, yes, it was a challenge, but I feel like you see this 
challenge now. And you're looking to move on from it. So it's like you're aware of this problem. You're aware of this issue. And you're doing the work to um, fix it in your life. And I feel like awareness is the first step. All right. What are you focusing on? Let's see. What is um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, focus, Venus signs? What are they focusing on? Victory. Oh, okay. 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 I see you guys. Six of Wands is coming there. Your focus is on winning something. Over, I feel like overcoming these adversities, overcoming challenges, overcoming these obstacles. You're focusing on winning and you're also focusing on taking necessary action with the Knight of Wands coming through. And healing, fixing your life and healing. So the Knight of Wands is not a stagnant energy. The Knight of Wands is very passionate, right? So it's like a go-getter. That's what I'm getting here. I'm seeing here someone realizing that in order to overcome life's problems and life's challenges, you have to take action. So I feel like your focus is on overcoming the difficulties in your life and taking action. And I feel like for some of you, you feel as though getting your life in order and focusing on healing, yep, is what you're going to start doing. So I feel like some of you may start doing like, you know, like certain things to help heal. That could be going to a therapist. That could be, for some of you, this could be spiritual. Maybe you're choosing to get like a, uh, do a spiritual bath. You may be looking to do a spiritual bath. You may be looking to talk to a spiritual counselor. Uh, some of you that may be praying for others. But nevertheless, I feel like you feel inspired to focus on your healing, to focus on your path, your journey, and you're taking action so that you can win. You're not looking to stay stuck. You're not looking to be this victim. You're looking to be a winner. So that's your focus. Let's see what's coming towards you that you don't know. What's coming towards cancer that they don't know? Someone rising the signs. We got the high priestess is coming towards you. The underdark energy for that is the six of pentacles. Interesting. All right, so what's coming towards you that you don't know? Um, this is interesting. I'm trying to find a way to word this. All right, so with the high priestess, this is someone that's very spiritual. This is someone that um, is very all-knowing, okay? This is someone that connects to spirit. This is someone that can see behind the veil. Some of you are, maybe have very strong psychic abilities. Uh, you may be a very spiritual person. You may pray a lot. Maybe some of you read spiritual books. Um, but I feel like you're going to stop giving to it. I, I didn't I didn't know how to say it because it seems like it is something that some of you have been rooted in or you've relied heavily on um, this spiritual belief system that you have. But something that you this this is what you don't see coming is that something is going to change your perspective about your spiritual belief system, your spirituality. And whatever it is that's going to change your perspective is going to lead to you to stop giving to it. So let's say, for example, um, you're someone that prays, okay? Uh, what you don't see coming is that I feel like you don't feel as though it's been helping you. So you're going to stop giving to it. You're going to stop doing it. You got the hangman here. And I feel like I, the, the reason why I feel like some of you are doing this is because of the sacrifices that you've had to make or the sacrifices that this belief system has cost you. And I feel like some of you um, are going to start focusing more on worldly things. Yeah, see, look at here. Because, mm, ow, ouch, ouch, guys, ouch. I'm going to have to figure out why this is happening. I'm not saying, I don't want to judge and say this is right or this is wrong. This is a part of your path. So just because you're going to be experiencing this energy, it doesn't mean that it's going to stay that way. Tarot is about energy and energy is always in motion. 
but I, and, and you may be saying, oh, that's not going to happen. But keep in mind, the question is what you don't see coming. Okay. So what you don't see coming is that you're very spiritual, but there's something here that's going to change your mind about your spirituality. And you're going to stop giving and start focusing more on worldly things. See here, this nine of swords, there's some sort of suffering here. And I feel like the reason why someone may do this is because of all of this suffering that you've experienced. So something I feel like something's going to trigger you. There is something that is going to trigger you guys that's going to push you into what you don't see coming. Because I feel like there's going to be like this energy of giving up on spirituality, giving up on spirit or just feeling some type of way. Uh, maybe feeling like it has done nothing but caused you a lot of suffering or agony, this belief system, and maybe feeling like you haven't been seeing the manifestation of all of your work, all of your effort. It's caused you more stress, more angst, more suffering than, you know, for some of you, maybe, you know, blessings. I, I don't know. But the thing is, is that I feel like there is something here. And I feel like it could, I feel like for some of you, because of the sacrifices that you've had to make. It's like you've been sacrificing, but yet there's always this adversity. There's always this mental anguish, sleepless nights, worrying, because it's always one thing after the next. And that's why I feel like some of you, you may get hit with something and that's what's going to trigger. Remember I said, I feel like you're going to get triggered. So I feel like there's something that's going to happen that you don't see coming. That's going to trigger you into this state. I don't feel like you're going to stay because I do feel like it's going to move. And that's why I say energy is constantly in motion. I feel like you are going to experience, uh, you know, a, a small season or whatever, um, with that type of energy where you get triggered and you're going to start, maybe stop giving to your belief system, um, or your spirituality. So let's see, uh, what we could find out about this triggering coming up. Oh, look at here, extra triggered. Yep. That's what it is. You're going to get triggered extra. That's what I want to see. What is going to cause this triggering? What's going to cause this extra triggering spirit? I feel like for uninterested, ooh, ooh, look at this. It says uninterested. <sighs> okay, someone coming back into your life that you're not interested in is going to cause this triggering. Someone that you are not interested in coming back into you. Didn't I tell you that? And you're going to start, you focus on money? I told you guys that. Mm hmm. Yep, that's that Nine of Pentacles. Hustling, making it rain, focus on money, getting it. Yeah, I feel like I feel like some of you are going to, and I feel like the, for some of you, this triggering has to do with your spirituality and your belief system in this connection here that you're no longer interested. So let's say maybe you thought this was like a spiritual connection or, or not even thought, maybe you feel like this is a spiritual connection, but this person did something or will do something to trigger your belief system and make you no longer want to believe in it anymore because this connection has been nothing but strife and hardship for you. So I feel like maybe not wanting to uh, trust and believe in like this, this spiritual situation, this spiritual connection because of what it brought into your life. This person, it triggers you. The connection with this person triggers you because it was probably based on your spiritual belief. Yeah, look at here. Didn't, I, didn't we talk about winning? That's what I was saying right here. You guys are going to be focused on winning. So you're going to put a lot of energy into... Um, into the into the material world. So I feel like some of you may at a, a particular season or at a particular point put your faith, your spirituality, your prayer life, like the things that you were doing. Let's say, you know, you always do meditation or you always pray or you always read these spiritual books. It's like you're going to stop doing that for a season or for a minute. However long, I feel like you're just going to get away from it because it's going to remind you of this situation or of this person. And you're going to start putting a lot of energy into just winning into just winning, but winning financially. Yeah, look at here, reject it. Because I feel like whoever this person is, it's like you rejected me, now you want to come back? This connection is going to trigger you. This person rejected you, now they want to come back into your life. And I feel like it's going to make you feel some type of way.
Okay, so um, we got Karmic Friends, Giving Money, and Hooked. Oh. Can't fully trust them. Can't fully, oh, I see what this is. Can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition. So here is the deal. This is probably why some of you are going to be fully irritated. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like for those of you where this person could have had you in a triangle where there was a third party, they were with someone else or they left you for someone else or was with someone else, however that resonates with you. I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like they were giving this karmic money. I, or they or, or they they're they're still attached to this karmic. I don't feel like in a romantic way though. Whoever this karmic is, I don't feel like they're romantically attached to this karmic. I feel like they have to give this karmic money. There's something attached between the two of them financially, but they don't trust this karmic. What I'm seeing happening, them coming and talking to you about it, and you're not interested in hearing what they got to say. You're going to be uninterested in what this person is coming to tell you about this karmic. Because I feel like that I feel like things with this karmic is not going well. Whoever this person, whoever this person is, that's just going to be trying to come back into your life. I feel like they've been struggling with this karmic. They, I feel like they do a lot of work in that karmic relationship in the sense of, I feel like the karmic doesn't like either the karmic isn't working full time or have a job um, or, or just as a stay at home type of a person. For some reason, the karmic is reliant upon this person's money. They're doing all of the work when it comes to this karmic situation. They've been suffering. I feel like they have not had anyone to talk to about the situation with them in this karmic. But they're, they've been. All right. I'm just reading the energy. I'm not judging it. That's for you to judge your own situation. Um, whoever this resonates with. Okay. But um, because it, the reason why I said because it's just it just sounds crazy to me. Like, like this what this person is thinking. They're hooked on you. They are hooked on you. And that's why here, look at here, coming. I'm seeing here, look at the dog right there. Even trying to buy you, trying to give you something. And I feel like you're not interested. It's, you're not interested because you're like, go back to that karmic. Go be with that person that you were giving all your money to. And that's what I feel like. I feel like they were working hard and giving the karmic control over the money. And I feel like this is why, I, I feel like part of why they were doing this I'm getting here this energy of something connecting the two of you with why they were doing it. I, 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 it's weird. It seems like this person was delusional. It's like they were so focused on you. Even if you guys were not together, they would just focus on how hooked they were on you. They just were not paying this karmic any attention. So they were allowing the karmic to control the money. But it looks like whatever happened, because while they were paying attention to you or dealing with you or just thinking about you, the karmic was doing something with the money. And now it's causing suffering in their life. That's what I'm getting here with this energy. So I feel, yeah, look at here. It says here, grudge holder. And what did I tell you? Theft. Theft. Robbed. Lost. Theft. Physical or emotional. So, yeah, they're coming to, mm -mm. look at here. Kissing. Kissing butt. Yeah, this person's in the process of moving. Yeah, they're not with this karmic anymore, but they have, or they're getting ready to leave this karmic. But there's some sort of financial um, tie that they have. This karmic stole money. And I feel like this karmic stole money because they were holding a grudge against them. There was something, something happened between them and the karmic, which is why the karmic... Uh, stole their money or spent their money in a way of which it left them without any money but they got their karma because remember I started talking about justice and so I felt like you know for those of you that maybe thought this person went on to go live a happy life with this karmic that's not the case the karmic stole from them the karmic did something to them emotionally and physically 
and it looks like they're coming to kiss up to you now that they see the truth around this karmic because I feel like they were living in some sort of uh, delusional state. They probably did not think this karmic was even capable of doing what they were doing. I feel like the karmic had someone else actually help them. It's like, I feel like they were talking about the whole situation and they got someone else to help them take the money or they gave the money to someone else to do something with it. But I just don't feel like this karmic acted alone in what they did to this person that now wants to come back to you but you're not hearing it though but they're going to be kissing your you know what but you're not you're not going to be you're not going to be for it is what i'm seeing here um cancers let's see we're going to stop there we're going to i'm going to move this over to the extended we're going to delve into this person's life more we're going to see what's going on within them and their environment what their intentions are with you how do they really feel about you is you know, we'll look at all of that in the extended. So if you want more insight, come on over to the extended. The link is going to be in the description box. Catch you guys over there. Bye. We got to see. Yeah, because they, they kept, they were suffering keeping you a secret. See, suffering at night, the moon, hiding, having to suppress their emotions, their feelings for you. They have been doing it for so long. Keeping you a secret. That's why they're like, I don't care if I have to scream it to the mountaintops. People are going to know it is you. I'm not hiding you anymore. I'm not hiding my feelings for you anymore. I don't care what nobody say. I'm going to spoil you. Because I've been suffering for too long. Now I'm excited. I'm excited. Yep, about this Ace of Cups with you. This new, these new feelings. Because I want, I want it, I want it all with you. Guys, this person is like, I want to, they want to marry you. They want to marry you. They were suffering by having to suppress their feelings for you. Now something has lit fire and this person is saying to hell with everybody. I'm tired of being fake. I'm ready to let the world know that it's you that I want. But they don't have to convince the world. They have to convince you. This person has.